Hey, Casey Ferris here. I make videos on DaVinci Resolve here on YouTube. Today we're talking about rendering in place, which is the fancy word for, hey, this is too complicated. Let's just chill out and think about this for a second so we don't have to think about it later. Let's go. I'm in Resolve 17. I have a little edit going here and I have this nice little graphic here where he opens up the beehive and we have this little tracked call out that just tells you this is in fact a beehive which I, I agree. And once Fusion does the cache, it works pretty well. But let's say for whatever reason, we're having trouble playing this back and we're pretty sure we're not gonna change this too much. We just wanna render it so that we don't have to wait for this to cache off and on. Well, there's a new little feature in Resolve 17 called Render in Place. All you do is select whatever clip you want, right click and go up to the top of our list here and it says Render in Place. Then it will ask you what kind of clip you wanna make. Let's do QuickTime DNX HD, that sounds good. Let's do 1080p and include video effects, sounds great. You can even include handles to give you a little bit more room if you wanna change things later, but then we'll hit render. It'll ask where to put this, I'll tell it where to go, and then it will render this out real quick. And once it's rendered it, it'll put that file wherever you told it to put it, and it will place it right here so that you don't have to go and mess with it anymore. And now it'll play back real nicely. Yeah, you can move back and forth, super good. But oh my goodness, what if we mess something up and like, oh, I don't want this to say beehive, it's way too obvious. I want this to say the lid of the beehive. Well, because this is rendered out, you can't really do anything about it, right? Well, actually, if you right click and go up to decompose to original, it will relink it to our original footage and our original comp, because it just remembers that we did that. Now I can go back to my Fusion page and type in what I needed and go back to the edit page. And I can leave it like that, or I can pretty easily just render it in place again. Now that I've made that little change, we have that rendered in place. Man, this is so slick. Because sometimes you'll do a comp like this and you're, you're never gonna mess with it again. You don't need to take all the extra processing power to uh, look at a Fusion comp. You just want it to work. This is a really slick way to make that happen. Render in place, I know I'm gonna use that a ton. If you want more videos on Resolve 17, right there, that's where you wanna click. We're making a playlist. I'm gonna keep adding to it for the foreseeable future. Hmm future time, the future.